Hello and good afternoon everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. This afternoon I am going to show you a beautiful 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop. Now as you can see this car is finished in black and is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a set of Riddler wheels on it brand new wheels and tires on this car i bought the car it had a set of craigers on it i know a lot of people like that look and i like the craigers but man i tell you what these wheels and tires just set this car over the top it's just a absolutely gorgeous car all the stainless on this car and all the bright work is in very very good condition this car was rotisserie restored um, it's probably been done for 15 years or so, maybe maybe 20 years. It still looks very, very good. Got a few imperfections in it, nothing major, but I will go around and I point some stuff out to you. As we do with all of our cars, we try to show you everything we know about them because a lot of our cars here at Kenyon Classics, they don't, people don't come here and look at these cars. I sell these cars based off my videos and my pictures, and that's why we do the best job describing them as we possibly can. You can see the paint on this car is very, very nice, and as I said, the stainless trim and the bright work on this car is very, very nice as well. You can see down here, and you can see my reflection. You can see how good the paint job is on the car. It looks very, very nice. Um, as, you, as I walk around the car, I do see a few, you know, imperfections, little tiny little bubbles underneath the paint right here, right in this area right here. Um, and also has a couple little imperfections right in this area right here. Now, if you're outside in the daylight, you probably never even see that stuff. But I really, you know, I take pride in what I do here. And I want to show you, you know, the good and the bad on these cars. This car is not a $150,000 car. So, I mean, that's why it does have a few imperfections in it. And it's not like the car was just restored, you know, last year. So, you know, it does has a few spots where it shows its age. But the car, don't get me wrong, this car is absolutely gorgeous. And if I was not underneath these bright LED lights, fluorescent lights, I should say, you would not see all this. But I, I'm just pointing it out to you. Same way on this side, a couple little, couple little bubbles here. Um, in the paint and then right here on the door it's got a couple little spots right there as well if somebody wanted to go around and touch a couple spots up on this car you'd probably touch this car up for a thousand dollars I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna leave leave everything just as is it's a gorgeous car this car has a mile built small block in it a 350 I do believe it's a 350 um, it has a Muncie four-speed transmission in it. Uh, the interior in this car is absolutely gorgeous. I'll open the door. It retains the original interior in it. It's been all redone, of course, but original style seats, which I just absolutely love. The carpet looks great. The dash looks excellent. The headliner is very, very nice. Back seat looks great. Just an absolutely gorgeous car. Same way with the door panels. Back in the day when I was probably between the ages of five and 12, we had a blue 57 Chevrolet two-door hardtop that we had for our family cruiser car. We had that, we had a 47 Ford. And I just loved going in there for a ride in the 57 Chevrolet. You open the door, it's got that famous, that squeak when you open the door. And this car actually even, it's, it even smells the same inside as the old 57 Chevy that we had when we were kids. This car, like I say, beautiful Riddler wheels on it. It does have vintage heat and air conditioning in this car. Uh, the car starts up and runs perfectly. There's your dome light. I'm not sure. I opened the passenger side door and the dome light didn't kick on. I don't know if the button maybe stuck or something, maybe. But um, the windows all go up and down just like they're supposed to. There you go. Kind of get an idea of the, the two-door hardtop style there. I'll start it up for you and let you listen to a run. Dash lights work. It does have a tripod of gauges down below the dash here. Good oil pressure. That voltage gauge must not be hooked up. 
left turn signal, right turn signal, horn. Your vintage air controls are right down there. Nice, got nice vents down there underneath the dash. Headliner in this car is very, very nice. I showed you that already, but it's very, very nice. It does have uh, seat belts front and back, it appears. So you can ride around in this car with your family and go get ice cream or go to the drive-in. Car sounds great, doesn't it? I'm sorry if this is a little bit wobbly here. It's really cold out and, and uh, my legs are still kind of shaking from it being so cold. There it is, beautiful 1957 Chevrolet. Sounds great. I'm gonna run this car up on the hoist here in just a little bit. I'll take some undercarriage shots of it. That way you can see what the underneath of it looks like. Exhaust sounds excellent. I tell you what, you watch watch the market on these cars. Man, I tell you, I think this car would bring way more money at an auction than what I'm going to advertise it for. But I tell you what, you're looking for a beautiful 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door hardtop. There's no sense looking any further. Kenyon Classic Cars, Clarence, Iowa, 563-452-2450. Check us out on our website, www.kenyonauto.com. That's K-I-N-I-O-N, auto.com. We buy, sell, and trade collector cars, muscle cars, and regular inventory every single day. So make sure you check us out. Beautiful trunk area, carpeted, looks very nice in here, super solid. You got your spare tire, your jack, uh, four-way lug wrench. Hell, well, I guess I need the trunk light. That's the license plate light shining up there. Hell, it's got a trunk light that works. As you can see, all the lights seem to work in the car. Turn signals, headlights, tail lights, they all work. I'll shine this, I'll turn this other uh, left turn signal on for you so you can see that one work. There it is, all lit up. I'll show you the underneath the hood too. I got the jumper pack on it because the battery was dead while it was sitting in here, so I'm not gonna lie to you. Hey, the battery was dead. I'll just show you how honest we are here, Kenyon Classic. Aluminum intake, set of headers, chrome valve covers, Edelbrock intake and carburetor. ATI distributor. Very, very nice, clean 57 Chevrolet. Two-door hard top. I really appreciate everyone watching our videos. I really appreciate everyone who's purchased cars from us. I think they'll, everyone will be honest with you and tell you that we're great people to work with. We try to do everything we can for you. Kenyon Classic Cars, Clarence, Iowa. I hope everyone has a great afternoon. And if you can, please stay in where it's warm. Talk to you later, guys.